Use the means of today to reach the people of today. The Church Speaks, an episode where the Holy Father, the Pope, and the Bishops of the Philippines speaks about their apostolic letters and exhortations to all Catholic Christians. Today, the Catholic Bishops of the Philippines, CBCP, choose this year as a year of the parish communities as part of the program in preparation for the celebration of the 500 years of faith in the Philippines. Mga eksuon ko diyagang Kristo, maayong buntag ka natin ka naman. Padayon ta sa paghisgot, sa gadiklara sa Catholic Bishop Conference of the Philippines, kabahin ka ron ang panahon sa bagong pagsangyaw sa maayong balita. Uban sa tema, tuig sa parukya. Daging mong sila, na kinahanglan nga ang mga sakop sa atong pagtuong katuliko, mamalandong sa halawong nga paagi, dili lamang may tungod sa mga estruktura, sa panggobyerno, sa mga dioceses o sa mga parukya. Labaw sa tanan, lantawon o susihon ang mga kalidad sa pagtuo sa katawahan, diha sa parukya o sa mga gagmay nga kristuhan o katilingban. Susihon usab ang burlasyon sa usag-usa, ang panagtambayayong sa usag-usa, ang pagpangilabot diha sa dagan sa parokya. Sa so, mga kausawa mga iksuon, gerila takutog, mayong buntag karatong tanan sa mga kausawa, may God bless us all. This Holy Mass is brought to you in collaboration with Ricardo O. Santiago, Stu and Nancy Santiago, APM Ad and Promo Management, Alex P. Montanez and Family, Ernie and Mercy Evangelista, St. John Paul II College of Davao, Royal Bread House Incorporated, Tat and Gigi Coronel and Family, Teresita Villa Abrilie, T. Linao Trucking Services, Davao Durian Laundry Services Company, Rotasio Takandong, Chardon, JDB Diversified Incorporated, Consolidated Plywood Industry Incorporated, Melvin E. Aviles, Perita Lorenzo and Family, Attorney and Mrs. Ellie Britannia and Family, Quilans Food House, PSST Bote Junk Shop, Mr. and Mrs. Clemencia D. Catalunya and Family, Brother Henry and Lolita Evangelista and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lucas Datoy and Family, and Army Kudal and Family. Offering of the Holy Mass, accept most holy trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the Divine Word and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. We pray for the intentions of our regular sponsors, choir members, donors, offerers, and volunteers of the Zoli Mass, especially the sponsoring group. GKK Queen of Peace, Nova Tierra Village, Mary Star of the Sea, Seafarers Family Association, and Association of Pauline Cooperators, Friends of the Divine Master. Thanksgiving intentions of Dr. Carlos Tan and Family, Joy and Joey Mempin, Davo Partsman Sales Corporation of Erika Soner, just an Ibsam Machine Shop, Mr. and Mrs. Hernando and Debbie Bulipata, Ramon and Nick Nixalang, Pablo and Juliet Suarez, Lorraine Ang and Children, John Hernan Bulipata, Rick Alfred Bulipata, Mirna Gallego, Harold and Grace Aranas, Willie and Lucille Kindoy, Lino and Bing Micayabas, Mr. and Mrs. Marcel Micayabas, Angie D. Cagaanan, Aurea Atinen and Family, Captain Jose and Beth Balan, 
Captain and Mrs. Rene Kubal, Queen Alberta Breadhouse, M&M Manpower Agency, and Job and Care, Lina Kabundokan, Nene and Baby Soto, Perla Hudar, Ismael and Jasmine Ewai, Nene Santander and Family, Meg's Frozen Meat of Inday Dimpas, Mary Aleria and Family, Ed and Susan Andoy, Alex and Gloria Anoos, Niseto and Maristela Ranario, Vincent Carlo and Maria Lelani Abrigos, and Ging and Sol Chu. Special intentions of Elsa Batistil, recovery and healing of Jeremy Chu, Rudolfo Estera, Emil Season, Ernie Evangelista, Brother Henry Evangelista, and Mirna Gallego. For the eternal repose of Milagros, Luciana, Elpidio, Claudio, Melchor, Father Jose Precious, and all benefactors of the Pauline's RTV programs. Prayer for the sick. Lord and Father, God without end and almighty, through your grace, you give us strength and help in our weakness. In your mercy, touch your sick people. Deliver them in their sicknesses and restore them good health, so that assured of your goodness and love, they will praise and thank you in your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Good morning. The Easter festival puts an end to all the questions of why. Why all the sufferings, the sickness, violence, injustices? All the evils that this world offers today had offered in the past and will still offer in times to come. Why am I here? Why these insecurities, including my failures and sins? Is life still a grace or has become a disgrace? We learn from the teachings and examples of Jesus that weakness is a necessary step to strength. St. Paul reminds us that so also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown weak it is raised powerfully. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. May Christ, who is our hope of glory, strengthen our belief in the resurrection and enable us to live our lives with joy. The choir during the Mass is the Benedictus Choral of the Benedictine Monastery of Cogon Digos City. The presider of this Eucharistic celebration is Archbishop Fernando Capalia Didi, Archbishop Emeritus of Davao. Let us celebrate the banquet of love. Please all stand as we sing joyfully our entrance hymn. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. peace be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning and happy Easter. Good morning. 
Brothers and sisters, let us now begin our celebration by calling to mind our sins and acknowledging them, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the second mysteries on this Easter Sunday. Let us pause briefly in silence to examine ourselves. And now, conscious of God's loving forgiveness and humility, we all say together, I confess that I have really sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and I have done in what I have prayed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of her grace, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. O God, on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity. Grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The resurrection of Jesus is the heart of early Christians, Kirigma, that is the public announcement of God's salvation through Jesus' victory over death. The first reading. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has had happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man, God, raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the appointed one by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us rejoice and 
Christ's resurrection challenges the Christian to die to his corrupt and wicked ways and to rise as new person, sincere and faithful. The second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do you know that the little yeast leavens all the dough? Clear out the old yeast so that you may become a fresh batch of dough in as much as you are unleavened. For our Paschal Lamb, Christ has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The word of the Lord. Offer your thankful praises, a lamb the ship redeems. Christ, who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. Death and life have contended in the combat stupendous. The Prince of Life, who dies, reigns immortal. Speak, Mary, declaring what you saw, wayfaring. The tomb of Christ, who is living, the glory of Jesus' resurrection. Bright angels attesting, the shroud and napkin resting. Yes, Christ my hope is arisen, to Galilee he goes before you. Christ indeed from death is risen, our new life obtaining. Have mercy, victor king, ever reigning. Amen. Alleluia. Lamb has been sacrificed. Let us feast with joy in the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he came into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, 
the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not understand yet the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel of John narrates that John, upon peering into the empty tomb, saw and believed that Jesus of Nazareth, who claimed that he was the Christ, the Son of God, was confirmed by the other apostles from their personal experience, as St. Paul says in the first reading, narrated in the Acts of the Apostles. Personal faith in and experience of the risen Lord Jesus was the beginning of a new life for the apostles and the disciples. This, according to St. Paul in his letter to the Corinthians, is a life of sincerity and truth because of the power of the resurrection. It should be also the same for all of us. The apostles and disciples, with the exception of Judas Iscariot, who committed suicide, had their own passion or passions of pain and suffering. They doubted his claim as God, complain against his demands for fear that denied that they knew him and abandoned him, except John, the beloved disciple and the brother of James. But Jesus, the risen Lord, forgave them, blessed them, and empowered them with the gifts of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. In other words, as he rose again from the dead, he gave them power to rise also from the weakness of deadly unbelief, paralyzing fear, and stubborn weakness towards a new life of deep faith, intimate friendship, and courageous strength with him, the risen Lord and Savior. So it should also be the same for us. We have our own dark moments of fear, of anxiety and prostrations. This is why we were baptized and confirmed which empowered us to experience the deadly effects of sin and vice and confirm to rise again to a new life of grace, of friendship and faithfulness with the resurrected Jesus. With faith in the living and mysterious presence of Jesus in our daily life and even in the studio of ABS-CBN, In this morning Mass, we can experience again and again new resurrections, little victories over our bad habits and sin and vices and deadly addictions. That is why after this homily, the Church will ask us to renew our baptismal promises to abandon sin and to believe in Jesus and in the power of his resurrection. I will then sprinkle you with the holy water to remind us of our baptism and confirmation. So now, please stand for this ritual of remembering our baptismal promises.
during our baptism, the priest also gave us lighted candles. But since we were little babies, we could not respond to the questions of the priest while holding the candles. So it was our parents and godparents who did it for us. So now we will renew that moment when holding the candle uh, by the parents and by the godparents, we renounce sin and profess our belief in Jesus. Brothers and sisters, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so, now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounce Satan and his works and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by His grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. prayer of the faithful. Christ is the Lord of life, raised by the Father. In turn, he will raise us up by his power. For every petition, our response, Father, we beseech you, hear us. Father, we beseech you, hear us. That the church proclaims with all courage Jesus' victory to a world living in sin, agony, and fear. We pray. Father, we beseech you, hear us. That church and government leaders die to their personal interest so that they may serve your chosen people faithfully. We pray. Father, we beseech you, hear us. That all the baptized die to their sins and live up to their dignity as children of God. We pray. Father, we beseech you hear us. That there be new hope and life for our nation through the hands of capable and principled leaders. We pray. Father, we beseech you hear us. That the faithful departed, especially the sponsors, cooperators, and benefactors of the Media Apostolate share in Christ's glorious resurrection. We pray. Father, we beseech you, hear us. Father, your Son conquered the power of death. Let our celebration today raise us up and renew our lives through Jesus our Lord, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
gifts we bring to you. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord Through the passion of our, your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with you Exalt on with Paschal gladness, O Lord. We offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give with us, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, on this day, above all, to load you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people, exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Romulo and George, our bishops, all of us, your bishops, all the clergy, all the religious, and all of us here today. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her blessed spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing.
Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not, Lord, on our sins, but on the faith of your people, your church, and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. With joy and respect, let us greet one another with a sign of peace. peace. Lamb of God, do take away sins of the world. Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Of Christ, keep me safe for eternal life.
Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Mass is ended. Let us go in peace and glorify God by our life. Thanks be to God. and trade.